Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been having a good week. And um, just wanted to get a little something done here on the truck before Friday comes along. And, uh, and my uh, dad comes over as usual and uh, maybe have something for him to, uh, to kind of do. So it involves making a belt for this. So as you've seen probably in the video, I rebuilt this pulley that's just loose at the moment. And we have the new bottom pulley on, but we don't have a, um, a belt. And I tried to order a belt. Unfortunately, that belt size is not available. Um, I think they do have a leather belt. It's significantly more expensive. But you know what? I've got leather. I've got leather belts that we can probably convert. So what I did here is I centered the fan in the rad, basically from one side of the shroud to the other side. And that gives me a measurement, centered measurement of three and three eighths, three and three eighths from the shell. And just looking at it, it is basically straight up and down, basically straight in line vertical of the crank and it doesn't make any it's not even close to hitting the lower lower rad tube and it's not close to hitting any, anything on the left side on the uh, passenger side and it's not close to hitting anything on top and it's not close to hitting anything on the bottom so it's basically perfectly centered so what we got to do first of all is take a measure and see how long a belt we need to make um, maybe minus an eight because we're going to tension it a little bit and this I just figured out just by messing around but obviously you lift this arm it's further distance away you drop this arm it's less distance away so I wanted to give myself a little fudge room to go either way and it looks like I could go either way you know by almost a half if I look down the lower rat hose about a half inch I don't want to do that but you know We'll give ourselves a little stretch room for that belt. Um, so I got this just right, 28 and a quarter. And like I say, we can stretch it a wee bit and tension it. So 28 and one quarter is where we gotta be. So let's go over the bench and I'll mess with this for about an hour, <laughs> kind of pull this out. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back over the bench. Okay guys, all right, so I'm back at the bench here. And, um, you know, I elected to change it a little bit. So 28.5 instead, instead of 28.25, I'm going to go. And that's going to allow for a little bit of stretch so that everything ends up right back, right in the middle of the rad. So here's the old belt that was on it. It's an AK468, whatever that all means. You can see it's actually been spliced here, you know, connected up. I guess you guys can see that. So... And that's been pretty strong. I don't know what cut it. Looks like, who knows what cut it? Something sharp, maybe. Maybe the maybe the fan itself. So anyway, this was a one-inch belt. And we're going to discard that. So we're going to go with uh, 28.5. And then we're going to go, we're going to lap by three-quarters of an inch um, either side, which is going to give us one and a half inch more. So 28.5 and 1.5 is 30 inches. So we need a 30 inch piece of belt. So from there, we're gonna go, we're gonna mark off three quarters of an inch on either side. So I'm just gonna kinda score that with my calipers or you can just approximate it. So one side is gonna be the lap and one side is gonna be the lap E, the lapper and the lap E. So this side will come down and then the bottom side of the other side will come down and then we'll get a lap out of that, right? Make sense? So that is a three quarter there, three quarter there and everything turns out right, then, then we should be just dandy, right? All right, so what we gotta do is take this down now take this down about half. So take this side down by about half, take the underside down by about half, and then when we lap them, they theoretically should be a nice smooth lap. That makes sense? Yeah. Right, sure it does. <laughs> so I previously made one just to test this theory. And so what you can do is you can use a piece of sandpaper and just work that down. 
which works, you know, you just gotta take your time about it. Um, you can use a knife and cut it and score it and, and kind of cut it that way. And uh, I think I ended up slicing my finger when I was doing that. Um, I've got another way to do it. And we're gonna try that. And that is with a um, electric um, band file, I guess it's called. So cover your ears for a second and start this up. We're gonna see if we can take this down about half. And that's pretty darn close, I think, to half. What do you think? Looks about right, huh? So all we gotta do is copy that on the other side and we'll clean it up and I'll show you what's next. So leave me alone for a little bit. I'll do the other side and then I'll come back to you as soon as we're ready to go. Okay guys, so there we go. Both ends, they're done. They lap nicely. They seem to match up nice when they're put together. Maybe a small bump, but pretty, pretty good. Both sides. Each side is equal in length so that when we lap them, they get a kind of a perfect lap. I mean, it, we're not looking for perfect. We're looking for pretty darn good, right? So now we did that. I actually, I squared these up too with a file. Just took my file, squared up the edges, you know, a little bit with that. Same thing here, squared them up a bit, made them nice and square. Not that you have to, you probably don't need to be that fussy. Took my scissors, kind of, cleaned up any little rags that are hanging off the end. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to put my favorite adhesive on there. LePage is PL Premium, uh, PL3X, whatever they call it, PL1000, whatever they might have. I'd found that this stuff is probably the strongest adhesive I've ever used. Now I've seen where people say to use um, contact cement, but you know what? I made one of these little belts maybe a week ago just to test that theory. And I let it sit up for about 24 hours. And you know what? As hard as I could pull, I could not pull this thing apart. It was just not coming apart. Um, so if that's any indicator, you know. So let's take some, let's put a little bit of, I mean, I don't know how much we need, but let's try whatever comes out, whatever squeezes out when we kind of press them together is, you know, what's going to be extra. There we go. What do you got to do? We got to smear that around a bit, huh? Okay. So what do I got? I got some, what do I have? Let's go here like so. Kind of give it a bit of a lap. Try not to get it all over my hands. Clap it. That's it. A little bit squeezed out there. Just wipe that off. A little bit on that side too. All right, so that's how it's going to sit for 24 hours. So we'll catch you back in about 24 hours, right? All right, so dad's gonna paint the shroud and I'm gonna pull that door out. Why am I pulling the door out? That's a great question. Because the arm on that door is broken. It needs to be, I need to weld an extension back on there so we can use it. So take a couple pins by the look of it. There's a couple pins somewhere. There they are. Up in here, a couple pins. And the spring, and then that should just pop right out of there. All right, guys, so we've got that broken handle off and kind of hammered it a bit, and yeah, it's pretty beat up. So anyway, what we're gonna have to do is make it longer. So it's gotta end up being from about, uh, about this point right here. You see that? Sorry, 
about here to the end of it, about six inches. So we can take something like this, clean it up, probably weld it in. So it's something like that, basically. That might work. Uh, we could take some round rod. You could also weld that in. And, you know, over distance, that'll work too. It's uh, not six inches, not that big a deal. So let's see what we can accomplish here. Let's kind of cut this off here and clean it up see what we can get kind of stabbed in there maybe we clean it up weld it in and um, yeah kind of catch as catch can isn't it um, see what we can make out of this see what we can make a silk purse out of a sow's ear kind of a thing all right this is what we come up with piece of round rod which that is the size that's going to fit in the slot really nice back of a touch sorry and uh, all we need to do is weld it in and we'll kind of weld around and smooth it out so it kind of looks like it blends in there nicely. I've left it about an inch and a half long so that we can trim it later. But yeah, let's go with that and see how that fits up. All right, that's what we got. There you go. I gotta tell you, this is a bit of a wrestle. Um, you have to have this bent at just the right angle, which basically is kind of open a little bit and not, you know, more of a sharp angle to get it to get this vent back in. It does not want to go in. At first, when I was taking this out. This had already obviously been bent up a fair amount, and this did not want to come out until I drilled out the rivets that were already on there. Um, it was so badly bent up. It basically wouldn't clear the hinges coming out. So now what I've realized is, you know, they... <laughs> First I thought, you know, there's a there's a beam that goes across with two carriage bolts um, that, that the brackets mount to. And I thought, well, we'll just take that out. Yeah, except for the fly... Sorry, the um, firewall... Um, is on the front is bolted to the front of the cowl flange and between the firewall and the cowl flange is the part that holds the um the uh slotted hinge for this to uh kind of cam up in i thought it'd be all easy i just take that off and boom we're out of there no no so not such luck anyway so what i realized is this has to be just at the right angle so that's what we ended up with you know, it's not a uh, world of wheels, but uh, it's gonna, I think it's gonna do. Could probably make this a little shorter, but we'll see how it fits up. If it needs to be shorter, I can cut it shorter and we'll go with that. But a little longer isn't gonna hurt right now. So let's, uh, there's our little pins. That's our little pins there. We're gonna get those in, get some cotter keys, some split pins in there, and we're gonna see how that fits up. All right, we got that in and adjusted, got our pins in, and this is what we got. Latches in all positions, pull the latch out, and it seems to hold pretty good and closed. Want to have a look inside? Let's take you inside for a second. All right, sorry, my wiring loom is just in the way at the second, but. That'll get moved out of the way. Anyway, there we got, got it. And positions, full lockout, and each one goes in nice and reasonably firm. So yeah, the um, as you can see, it's a little bit long. This could be probably cut back, or at least to here. So we could probably take two inches off that. Go with that. For now, we'll leave it be and uh, Gives us something to think about when we're uh, when we got the seats in, and uh, you know, probably by the second or third time I bang my knee into it, it kind of goes up underneath my my kneecap, 
that I'm probably going to want to cut it shorter. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's move on to one more thing today, and that is the the fan belt. Let's finish that up. All right, guys, you can't even imagine what I've got holding this camera up here. I've got <laughs> I've got belts, and it's propped up under two by fours, and just to get you this very special angle, uh, the angle where I don't block you with completely with my hands. Uh, so here, here's what we got. Here's how we end up with. And you know what? I was wrong. I'm just going to out and say that I was wrong the other day. I didn't need to make this belt longer than what I needed. I needed to make it shorter what I need, than what I needed by like, you know, whatever an inch. So I ended up cutting it, recutting it again, re-gluing it. And, you know, I'm, I've yanked on this and it's not even thinking of coming loose. So we're going to go with that and uh, see how she goes, you know. Anyway. So I took off, um, I took off, took off the crank Paul. I don't know, I call it Paul. I don't know, P-A-W-L, not P-A-U-L. And that was just easier than, than taking everything else off. So we'll just go around the fan blades. First of all, we're on the blades and and we go down and around that bottom pulley, which is not terribly difficult. And on that bottom pulley over there, there we go. And then up she comes. That's on the bottom pulley, nice. There we go. So then we shall, from there, tension it up. So I'm gonna give you a brand new camera angle that's probably gonna take me uh, probably another half hour to set up. <laughs> I'll just switch you into the, into the top view here. Hold on a second. All right, that should give you a reasonably bad view of what I'm doing here. So here we go. We got the belt on. We're going to get this tensioned up, which apparently is just tight enough so the belt just barely can slip, which you turn the fan, which is probably about there, I'm guessing. Something like that. There we go. Tighten that up. Tighten up this three quarter. Yeah, that just slips. I guess, I mean, the proof will be when I start it up and make sure it doesn't slip, but snug that up. Snug that locker up down there. And uh, what else we gotta do? I mean, that's roughly it. We gotta put our, our crank pawl back in, which hopefully you guys can still see that. Maybe I'll, I don't know. You wanna get another view? Let's give you another view. One second. One more 30 minute camera re <laughs> resetting. <laughs> All right. Now let's see what we can do. Let's get this guy in. Just stand in my way. Did I say it was easier to do this? I did, right? Sure, it's much easier to do it this way. <laughs> I don't know. I do your fingers go out now. And there's gonna be a hole there somewhere. Where are you? Line it all up. Don't drop the pin. Don't drop the split pin either. Hold your tongue just the right way. And you too may be a Ford mechanic. Okay, there we go. Put that guy in there. Let's get that split pin in. Oh, I did it. I did it. Should I hold on to it now? A bit of a bend. <laughs> uh, patience, patience. If I could slip just the right way, I might be able to put a hole through this rod. There. We've got enough of it. 
It's not gonna fall out today. Now we can crank it over. Make sure that belt tracks. It's tracking the right way. Make sure it's kind of centered on there. And it does, it kind of centered, it's centered on the top pulley as you can see, and it's, and it's on the bottom. The bottom has a couple lips on it, so. Boy, this, the plug's in, this thing's hard to turn over. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Belt's on. <laughs> see if I come out in the morning and the belt's already falling off. I don't think so, I think that glue's gonna hold all right, so. Anyway, guys, with that, I've had enough. I'm going to um, go edit this video and uh, maybe make a little dinner. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. And uh, yeah, we got that done, which is good. Got a few little things done here and there. Um, not, uh, not a ton of, uh, well, look, every time you take a step forward, you're not standing still and you're not moving backwards. So anyway, guys, have a great week coming up and uh, We'll see you next weekend. Good night.